I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your bullish bit brought to you by BitcoinWell.com, the simplest and quickest way to buy Bitcoin in the US or Canada and get it directly into your own self custody. Check them out today at the links down below. I'm bullish because it's early. Well, I think I can describe that in a, in a bunch of different ways. Uh, early in the sense that Bitcoin still has to 15x just to match gold's market cap. And as I was saying earlier, most Bitcoiners would be of the of the view that if it we use gold 2.0 as an analogy for normies to wrap their head around, but we're not just trying to make Bitcoin the, the digital version of gold in, in all the same ways in the same market cap. So to have 15x ahead of you just to match your next comparable asset um, to me is incredibly bullish. And it's also a sign that we're early. It's also something that um, I'm amazed at because I come from the world of Wall Street and institutional investing, specifically the world of fixed income bonds. And one of the ways we used to value corporate bonds, for example, is what we call relative value or looking at comparables. People on Wall Street should understand that. This is like their bread and butter. But I've tried to talk to them about Bitcoin being, you know, still has to go up 15x just to match its next comparable asset. And you think that would land with them. You think that'd be like, oh, wow, there's this like really high ceiling. And it, and it's not even a ceiling that has to stop there. It, it's not like once Bitcoin gets to 12 trillion, it has to stop for some reason. Um, so you think that would land with them, but surprisingly, it doesn't. I think it is because they don't really understand even the concept of sound money. They haven't read a book like Seb's or, or any of the other books about sound money. Other ways that I think we're early, I have had conversations with my former colleagues who cannot tell the difference between Bitcoin and FTX. I mean, literally to them, it's the same thing. Uh, I've had a conversation with a former coworker of mine who, when I asked him what he thought about Bitcoin, he said he's even more confident that he wants nothing to do with it because of what happened with SBF and FTX, um, which obviously just displays a complete confusion <laughs> about what's going on. Um, also bullish because what, uh, why I think it's early is because if you look at how many people I think have actually adopted Bitcoin in a meaningful way, not like I bought $50 in my Coinbase account in 2017 or 2021 and I haven't looked at it since, like a meaningful way, it's a pretty small number. Just on Twitter recently, um, Pletator, who I'm sure everyone follows, he looked into a survey that Coinbase did and they like kind of rigged the survey to heavily weight it with people who work for crypto companies. And of course, to Coinbase, it's crypto, not, not Bitcoin. But they wanted to give it this impression that a higher number of Americans are like using crypto every day. But I think the reality is that we're much earlier in the adoption cycle than what Coinbase wanted to provide, um, make people think based on that survey. So I think we're just we're super early. And I think that's a reason to be bullish.